doors are locked with silver chains My windows are taped, no escaping My fingers are crossed, no trust in anything yourself in it We believe, we believe, we believe every word Springing from your lips We can live, we can live, we can live in a world Where we tied at the hips We would give, we would give, we would give up our minds Do as you please with them you receive When we leave, when we grieve you don't Inside those walls, our structure falls. I feed it to on the other side. Inside those walls, our minds will roll. So lean it to its brother side. By now you should have been aware Of the consequences and despair Right now you should be on your toes Dancing in the last remaining snow We believe, we believe every word Springing from your lips We can live, we can live, we can live in a world Where we tied at the hips We would give, we would give, we would give that the night Do as you please with them you receive When we leave, when we grieve you don't mind Inside those walls, our structure falls. I feed it to on the other side. Inside those walls, our minds will roll. So lean it to its brighter side. Hey guys, welcome to this live stream at Reach. Sorry, I'm just gonna fix my camera because it's like a bit low. Hey Yaro, so nice to talk to you. <laughs> it's cool, I can, I can finally see those uh, ch um, comments you're making, so cool. Thanks for being here. And it's great to be talking to you. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Sasha Terrat, and I'm a singer and musician and composer from New Caledonia. And I'm very happy to be doing this uh, live stream at reach.me. I haven't, uh, I hadn't been streaming for a couple of weeks because I was, uh, I was working on a, on a project, which I will tell you about very soon. But uh, hi, guys. Thanks for talking. Hi, Dra Dragon Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's the hype crown, pride uh, crown. <laughs> 
<laughs> Amazing. And uh, yeah, I got my t-shirt, my pride t-shirt. Unfortunately, you can't. Well, just going to show you what uh, can you read? Hopefully you can read. Uh, it's a shout out to all my queer and trans and uh, any weirdos out there. <laughs> Hey, Aru Poet Rock, thanks Poet Rocks, thanks for being here. Sorry, I'm uh, stuttering. And hi, Anand, welcome. Yay, Pride Paints. Yeah, Happy Pride Month, everyone. This is our month. <laughs> All of the queers, queens, and uh, any uh, unicorn unicorn lovers out there. How are you doing? I'm hope. I hope you're doing good. I'm very happy. I'm very hot here in Paris because I'm in Paris at the moment. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that I'm. Uh, I said I was from the beautiful island of New Caledonia, but uh, I've been living in Paris for two years, so it's a summer and it's getting hotter and hotter. We're almost reaching the 40 degrees Celsius, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Hi, Anand. Oh, ni pedakumotea. What does that mean? Can you translate? I can speak French, I can speak English, and I can speak a little bit of Spanish, but that's pretty much it. So uh, please translate, because I love communicating and I'm very frustrated. I would love to be uh, able to speak many, many languages. Unfortunately, I don't have the time for that. I've been learning uh, computer languages, so <laughs> that's another form of communication. Unfortunately, not always to communicate with humans. But uh, I'm very happy to be here. So um, this is uh, going to be a different type of stream that I, that I usually do, because I'm going to play half uh, s half of my songs, and I'm going to do some covers as well, which is something that I had been do wanting to do for a long time, but I hadn't taken really the time. But now, yeah, I'm going to do a few covers for you guys tonight. So hope you're excited. What kind of gloves is that? <laughs> this. This I made myself, by the way. <laughs> so this is uh, basically just a glove which I cut, so you can see it's not really well done. It works for a live stream, but uh, yeah, basically I this is I'm not a seamstress at all. I uh, was learning uh, how to sew. I did a few pieces. I did that, and I did. Uh, top, which I sometimes wear. I will uh, show you later. But uh, yeah, so this is, you can do it yourself. Everybody says gloves are very complicated to make, but actually, well, if you're not like too picky on the uh, the finished product and if it's for something that will go on stage where people are very far or on a camera, uh, <laughs> what <laughs> thanks? What I would, what I did basically is I sh is I just put my hand with my uh, fingers spread as much as I could. I'm not very, uh, you know, I can't stretch that much, but basically that was it. And I just draw around my hand on the uh, fabric. Uh, I had to do it twice because the first time I did it, I didn't think beforehand, so <laughs> I was like very close to my hand. But when you stitch it, then you know, like the space shrinks. So I ended up having like gloves that were like would fit only a pencil. So <laughs> I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. But then, so uh, you just draw the yeah the shape of your hand with a bit of you know margin. You take you you go a bit large, and then I just. Uh, did that twice, uh, stitch them together uh, like uh, inside out, yeah, and then I turned it back and then I just like, you know, yeah, shoved my hand into it. So there you go, this was my, <laughs> sorry, this was a long answer, but uh, basically there you go. So. Uh, as I said, I'm going to do, and yeah, by the way, thank you for av having questions. And if you have questions, if you want to like say a comment or anything, please uh, don't hesitate to use your chat box or your comment box. I love communicating with you. I think it's amazing that we've got those tools in 2022 where we I can be playing in my room and I can be communicating with like so many people around the world, which is quite amazing. We're uh, we have like 161 people watching right now, which is thanks guys for being here. So uh, yeah, don't hesitate to communicate. So as I said, I'm going to do uh, 
one original song. The first one was my song and single, Silver Chains. You can go check out on YouTube the music video which we made with three of my uh, friends I, uh, during lockdown in Paris in 2020. So go check it out. There's a bit of weird uh, contemporary and interpretive dance. I think that's how you say it. And uh, the next song that I'm going to play then is a cover. It's a song that I really like. Uh, I picked a song that I obviously liked, but for which I had a bit of story to tell. So this song is called Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, but this is like a piano cover of that song. It's not me playing. I, I, uh, I'm using like a piano karaoke that is on YouTube, uh, to, and the channel is Sing to Piano or Sing to Guitar. They have amazing cover versions, so shout out to them. I will tag them on this video when it's uh, done, and I will uh, reach out to them to show them what I've done with it. Hopefully they will enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Chris Isaac, Wicked Game. I really like this song. I remember, you know, I started music really late, like in when I was 21. Before that, I was like not root at all into song. I would like barely listen to music. And... Uh, yeah, then music, <laughs> I fell in love with music. So uh, so yeah, I started music when I was in a medical school in Toulouse, France, because after doing all my high school and everything in New Caledonia, I had to go to Toulouse to do medical studies. And there I started music, so I decided to drop everything <laughs> and decided to, I thought, yeah, this is what I have to do. Music is what I have to do. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> That's so kind. Thanks. <laughs> you guys are so kind tonight. I'm so happy to be. Uh, I don't know if it's the night for where you, you guys are. And you can share your location, by the way. I like knowing the country you're living in. Sorry, don't worry. I'm not some kind of freak or creep trying to <laughs> find you. I just like the idea that we're like in all separate timelines and time spaces and, and countries and cultures. And we're still like gathering here in this moment. I think this is beautiful. So, yeah. So, uh, and... Uh, so yeah, Wicked Game, by the way, <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit, I'm so excited to be playing for you guys tonight that, yeah, I'm a bit hyper tonight, sorry about that. <laughs> so, and uh, Wicked Game is a song that I remember before starting music, I remember hearing this song, I didn't know the title, I just knew there was, I loved it, I just loved it. Uh, Chris Isaac's voice. He sounded very sexy for a young, like, 10 boy, 10 gay boy. And uh, I think he was, if I remember correctly, the, he's pretty, like, he was pretty, and I guess he's still pretty uh, uh, handsome. Sorry, I was looking for my words. <laughs> Keep going for you. Ah, oh, thank you, Pedro. Yeah, oh, thanks. I hope you will enjoy my cover then. <laughs> Wow, amazing lunch break. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Here it's uh, 8.15, I guess, by now. Texas, mm, amazing. Love, love it. I went to Texas a couple of times when I was a kid. I have uh, good memories there. And uh, yeah, so I love the music. I love the melody and I loved the voice. And uh, yeah, I had this song. I, I forgot about this song and then a uh, couple of years or a year ago, I just remembered it. I stumbled upon it and I was like, oh, Wicked Game. This is a song that I want to sing. So this is the first time that I'm singing it for like other people other, other than my boyfriend. So hope you will like it. There we go. <coughs> what a first... on fire no one could save me but you it's strange what desire will make foolish people do I've never dreamed that I leave somebody like you and I've never dreamed that I meet somebody like you with you. 
There you go, this was Chris Isaac. <laughs> uh, my take on it though. <laughs> As you can see. I don't uh, I love people who can do covers like who can cover like perfectly the original, but I, I must say I enjoy more uh when artists like put their own spin on it and I think like I used uh See, I used to do a lot of covers, and her covers, her versions are so amazing. Like, you have this beautiful acoustic version with her, uh, I don't know how to call her, otherworldly voice. It's quite amazing, so yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Hope oh, hey, Magali, comment tu vas? Ça va, darling? Coucou. <laughs> so there you go. This was Wicked Game. Um, the next song that I'm going to play uh, is a song in French. I'm going to do a couple of songs in French. So this is going to be an original and then a cover. And uh, it's one of the only songs in French I have. Actually, I just wrote a new one <laughs> for a music competition. And I'm really ha I enjoyed it so much and I was so happy with the results that I decided to uh, turn it into, well, to add it to my uh, upcoming album, or maybe it's going to be a single, I'm not sure. Hi, Joetta, how are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> so cool to have so many people here. How are you doing? C'est boule, ah, boule, <laughs> pardon. <laughs> J'avais pas reconnu. Oh, merci. Vous êtes trop gentil. Merci d'être là. C'est cool. I have a couple of very good friends here who are, who are listening, so I'm so happy to have them with me. Say hi to Mag and Ju. <laughs> Wave at your screen. <laughs> so, um, the what was I saying, by the way? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Next song. Uh, it's a song in French, uh, and it's called La Main. And uh, I wrote it when I... Actually, I wrote it in 2014, and I left it in a box on my computer, and then I took it out in 2020, and I realized, oh, that song. <laughs> Merci pour le masque. Uh, that song that I wrote uh, like so many years ago, I, used to, I, I wrote it because I was so angry at Paris, 
uh, on holiday. I, w- I came here on holidays and I ha- didn't have very good uh, experience, but there, that, w- that had nothing to do with Paris. That had to do with me and who I was surrounded with. And uh, coming back to Paris and reconnecting with the city, rediscovering it, being older, <laughs> wiser, I hope, and also better, uh, better surrounded, you know, somehow. Uh, I realized that the lyrics were so uh, vague that they could also have a posit- positive meaning. So I decided to rework it to give it a more, you know, happy vibe. And uh, now I'm happy to sing it with, as a, with, a, with a smile on my face. Sorry, I'm searching for my words. <laughs> and uh, this song is also a single, so you can find it on all my streaming platforms. So don't hesitate to go and check it out. It's called La Main, The Hand. And let's do it. And you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Was Lana. <laughs> oh, merci Magali, merci Julien. <laughs> tu rajoutes du chiffre, trop bien, vas-y, vas-y, vas-y. Je ne sais pas si ça change grand-chose pour moi, non, je rigole. <laughs> 
Et on a aussi un autre ami français qui s'appelle... Ah, Salut, Ich Suyo qui a dit Dak. Dak, what do you mean, man <rire> Trop gentil, merci les amis. Trop cool. So, we have like 390 people. Oh, thanks guys. 366 reactions. Hopefully, there are likes. <rire> But thanks for being here. Um, If you just joined, my name is Sasha Terrett and I'm live from Paris, from my uh, studio here in Paris, where it's, get it's, it's getting uh, way too hot because uh, we're in a heat, uh, we have a heat wave here in Paris, so it's getting, in France by the way, actually, uh, in France, so yeah, temperatures are rising. Uh, who said, who was it? Uh, 50 cents said, was it 50 cent? It's getting hot in here. No, it's not 50 cent. It's ne It's Nelly, is it? Anybody can correct me. I'm having some doubts and it's bugging me. I won't be able to sleep. Well, I'll check on Google afterwards. But if anybody has that answer, uh, who's who was singing It's Getting Hot in Here? Who was the rapper? I can't remember. So, uh, the next song, as I said before, is also a song in French. And uh, this one is a cover, because, you know, we're doing original song, then cover, then original song. And uh, it's a song that uh, I, the music behind is uh, something that I made. This is the only cover that I arranged tonight. The other ones are uh, by other people. And uh, this one is a song called Armstrong. It was sung by Claude Nougaro. Nougaro, sorry. Nelly. Ah, nice. Merci. <laughs> Nelly. Amazing. Because I was picturing Nelly in the video, but I had 50 Cent in my mind, so I was like, this is confusing. <laughs> Thanks for correcting me. And uh, so Armstrong by Claude Nougaro, which is actually uh, already a cover of an uh, Americ uh, American song by uh, Louis uh, Armstrong, uh, Go Down Moses which, well, I don't know if it's, I would don't want to say something bad. I'm not sure if Louis Armstrong wrote Go Down Moses. I don't think he did. I think it was like a traditional song, uh, more, it's uh, older. But uh, yeah, if you want to correct me on that as well, if anybody knows uh, more about American uh, music and uh, the story of uh, this song, Go Down Moses, please let me know. But this is actually, uh, Um, Nougaro. Claude Nougaro wrote a uh, kind of tribute to Louis Armstrong and I uh, really like this song and it's about also saying that uh, there's a very positive and inclusive message and it's quite an old song so it's still I think quite actual and quite relevant. So yeah, there we go, Armstrong. Nelly, nice. Merci les amis. Thanks. Okay, let's do it. If you have questions and uh, if you want to leave a comment or anything, if you want to talk to me, if you want anything, we don't have to talk about music, but don't hesitate. Use your little chat box, your little fingers and talk to me. I'm here. I, I'm trying not to look at the screen while I'm singing because I tend to get distracted. And since there are uh, uh, covers, I'm already afraid to forget the lyrics. So I already messed up a Wicked Games lyrics. So hopefully that won't happen there. Paul Robeson song. Okay. Merci pour toutes ces infos. C'est fabuleux. <laughs> so Paul Robeson. Robeson. Robeson, sorry. Robeson. <laughs> Robeson uh, wrote Go Down Moses, according to Google. There we go. And this is the uh, French rewrite. <laughs> Wow. 
chante pour moi, Louis. Oh oui, chante, 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 ça tient chaud, j'ai froid. Sorry about that, I forgot my lyrics. <laughs> oh, Antoine, t'es tellement sympa. Bonjour, mais tu peux t'en aller si t'es pas content. <laughs> French people are so angry sometimes. It's crazy. Uh, so, uh, what else do we have? So, next song is going to be, uh, it's going to be an original song. <laughs> merci Magali, t'es gentil. Et merci euh, Jus, trop sympa les amis. Trop cool. Thanks Dragon Maiden for uh, the little uh, enlightenment on that. I was reading this. It's so interesting. 1917 by Henry Burley, performed by many. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, F. Antoine. <laughs> Il a juste dit ta gueule. Mm. Tant pis, je vais pas m'arrêter, je vais pas me la fermer en fait. <laughs> Merci Magali, elle est tellement gentille. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the next song uh, is going to be an original song. It's a song that is actually on my second album, which you can find on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere, any streaming platform. And it's a song called 13, and it's a little ballad about time passing. And uh, I wrote it like in 2011 when I was like traveling the world on my own, couch surfing, going to see my friends on the way, and meeting new friends, discovering new countries. And uh, yeah, it got me thinking about how precious time is and how much we need to enjoy. And first of all, be in the present, you know not to worry about tomorrow because you never know what's going to happen and uh, uh, not carry too much of our past trauma, not let the traumas define us. Learn from them, keep them where they need to be but not be weighed down or uh, yeah, defined, I guess, by them. So there we go, it's a song called 13 and let's do it.
buried alive inside you I won't breathe again You are lying I should have never crossed my friend I know oh, I'm flies in your rhyme. I know oh, spring spas will they come again? Don't let it go. There we go. This was yeah, light and let there be light. This was thirteen guys. Uh, yeah, so you can, if you like it and you want to listen to the rest of the album, you can go ahead and check it out on the streaming platform. The album is called Treize, T R E I Z E, and the song is called Thirteen, which also means uh, which because Treize means thirteen, <laughs> but in uh, as a uh, figures. Sorry. Comment ils vont, Julien et Magali Ils sont toujours là Ça va, les amis Yeah 
I really like this streaming platform because there's no delay, so I can like talk to you in real time. It's really amazing. Shout out, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to all the Reach.me team. They've been amazing. They're always very supportive. Thanks, Peter, for uh, for this. Thanks for uh, your kind words as well. Always very, very encouraging and supporting, though. So, uh, yeah, shout out to them. Yay! I usually have more stuff going on on my screen, but I had a few technical issues, so we're going uh, lo-fi today, and maybe I would have had like a bit of, a bit of cheering uh, accessible, but I can't in this configuration. Oui, ça va super bien, les amis. Ah, vous êtes dans le Cantal. Oh, they're in the middle of France. Ah, oh, trop de chance dans la nature, c'est trop bien. I miss nature. <laughs> we're going to uh, the... Uh, we'll join you very soon. At some point. <laughs> well, you're coming back to Paris. Enfin, vous revenez à Paris. Pardon, je ne sais plus si je dois vous parler en français ou en anglais. Du coup, c'est perturbant. Mais revenez, vous revenez d'abord à Paris, après vous repartez. C'est ça, je crois. Le plan, si je ne me trompe pas. C'est ça uh, So, uh, and we miss you. Oh, and we miss you too, les amis. We miss you. Uh, the next song I'm going to play is a cover, because I just did an original. And it's a song by a young lady who is uh, just amazingly talented. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I have uh, been really, you know, struck by the talent and the ma and the the point of view in music that her and her brother have uh, have and how much they've changed the game and I think for the best and they're great role models for younger generations who are their main target and they are they have such a broad appeal to all the generations through their music and anything they make like whether it's visuals or uh, even interviews, they're both so smart. And uh, I really wanted to sing a song of theirs and hers. And you might have uh, uh, figured out who I'm talking about right now. It's the lovely Billie Eilish. So I'm going to sing Bad Guy for you, the acoustic version. And uh, yeah, her. I wanted to sing a song about uh, of hers because she has had such a and her brother with the production, they've had such a big influence on how I thought about my music. And since I started music, there were a few artists that had like a big influence on me and who inspired me not to copy, but to see the, my work the way they were seeing it, you know. I was very inspired by Alanis Morissette, and then she made me realize that music could be like something that was so healing and there was so much I could do by writing and sharing my experience or just writing down my experience and encapsulating it in a song. And it was so healing for myself first, and hopefully that could be healing for other people or enjoyable. Then there was Björk, who she uh, made me realize that you had, well, there was nothing like doing exa just what you wanted to do. There was nothing like not copying exactly and just doing what you heard in your head or not censoring yourself because this was like a simple chord progression or not doubting that you could mix this and that and realize that by mixing stuff that are uh, that you didn't expect to be mixed together. You ended up with unique and beautiful stuff and at least something to work with or to move on from and not stay always in the same place. And she also, also, also inspired me in being ever evolving and ever, uh, you know, s ever perfecting my craft, if I may say. And uh, then Billy, yeah, her and uh, Phineas, they've, by being becoming such big pop stars with such unique music, they re-injected the kind of faith that, <laughs> yeah, they, they or they, not that I, I didn't I didn't have faith in that anymore, but I was kind of yeah, 
doubting it, maybe, that humanity was yeah, always craving for interesting things in the end. You can feed humanity crap shit, but they will go for good stuff in the end, I guess. So, <laughs> so uh, oh, hi, N Nintendori. Thanks so much. Oh, that's so kind. Thanks for saying this. I'm so happy to have you. Sorry, I can't have. To, I don't see very well from afar, so uh, I have to <laughs> come closer to see what you guys are writing. So thanks for saying this. And uh, so the next uh, song is going to be "Bad Guy" by uh, Billie Eilish. Let's stop talking. Let's drink a bit, and we'll jump into it. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we're by the way, we're at the middle of the set. We have five songs left after that. There you go, you know everything. All my plan. <laughs> There you go. This was the Eilish song. Whoa. What's going on? <sighs> My computer is a bit naughty today. He's not behaving the way he should. Hold on, I'm just going to back up a bit. So, yeah. Ah, uh, one, two, yeah. Good. 
Thanks, Magali. Merci. So how are you guys doing? Ouais. <laughs> Magali and Junior are two very good friends of mine, and they are also uh, comedians. And uh, we're doing like a new project with another friend of ours uh, next year for kids. And this is going to be so cool. I'm so looking forward to it. So I'm very excited to be yeah, working with them and uh, creating new fun stuff, especially for kids. It's really fun because uh, uh, I've been yeah, doing giving uh, workshops for a year in, uh, in like, uh, how could I call it? A music center, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's really... I, I had done that before, but uh, I hadn't done it for such a long period of time and so regularly. And it's really amazing how much you can do with kids and how much they are inspiring and how much, yeah, there's so much fun to, to be had with kids and music. So it's really cool. Oh, c'est trop gentil. Oui, ça va être trop bien. So the next song is a song called uh, Mother Nature. I wrote it because, uh, as I told you, I'm from an island called New Caledonia. And uh, in such islands, you like literally see the cause of global warming, like people, neighbors of yours, or even yourself, you can lose your, you have to move and you can lose your house because the sea levels are rising. So this is like really happening, but I can also understand that if you grow up in a big city and you don't uh, necessarily go travel the world and see those, piece, those places, that kind of concept of global warming and sea levels rising can seem, I guess, a bit weird, but uh, I wanted to write a song to just to say to people, to people, yeah, this is actually happening, guys. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so we've lost uh, Reddit. Sorry, guys. They will get inspired. So, uh, and uh, this song, by the way, sorry, is called Mother Nature, and uh, let's play it for you. I don't know if I'm playing it for you. <laughs> What's wrong? No. 
And this was Mother Nature. Oh, by the way, <rire> Julien, pardon, si vous êtes dans le Cantal, vous êtes, vous êtes chez tes parents. Du coup, passe-leur le bonjour. Bonjour les parents de Julien. <rire> well, I sprayed water on my face. So, uh, how many songs left? We have four more songs uh, uh, to do. The next song uh, is a song called A Mad World by, uh, ooh, I forgot, shoot, I forgot the name, mm, you will recognize, sorry about that, uh, <laughs> I, uh, ah, what's his name, mm, Mad World by, I had it before I started the stream, I was like, don't forget about it, but I forgot, but uh, this song, and uh, I think that's already a cover, I'm not sure, but uh, I have to check my facts <laughs> beforehand. But uh, this song was in a movie called uh, Donnie Darko, and it was the. Uh, that's how I think everybody discovered that version of that song, uh, like how it became very popular and it fitted very well the atmosphere. Donnie Darko was like very popular when I was a teenager. I remember everybody was like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" And I think it's a good movie. I think it's still a good movie, but it's very uh, end of 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> but anyway, there was this song in this uh, movie, and <clears throat> I remember liking, uh, obviously, the music and the kind of uh, melancholy. Uh, I remember, that I, I don't know, this song, to me, there's kind of a beautiful death feeling about it. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, the singer's voice, I really liked it. He has a similar voice to people like, um, I don't know if you know him, Tom McRae. And uh, uh, I think he's got also a kind of Alan C. Mor Morissette's voice. So, uh, yeah, I remember feeling a deep connection with that song. So I wanted to sing it. It's the first time that I'm performing it uh, as well. So hopefully this will go well. I'm a bit worried about the lyrics because, yeah, I already messed up two songs I was supposed to know like quite well. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this one will go well. <laughs> Please don't hate me if I butcher the lyrics. I, I, t I uh, plan on improving. On improving. Okay, so I promise. This is the first time that I'm playing them, and I will play them again. So you can check like different live streams. Everything is saved on my YouTube channel, and you can see if I'm improving, improving uh, with those songs. And if I'm not, you can, you know, tell me. <laughs> so uh, let's do Mad World. Worn out faces, 
bright and early for their daily races going nowhere going nowhere hide my head and i will drown my sorrow no tomorrow no tomorrow hide my head i wanna drown my sorrow no tomorrow no tomorrow and i find it kind of funny i find it kind of sad the witch in which i'm dying is the best i've ever had i find it hard to tell you i find it hard to take when people run in circles it's a very very Children waiting for the day they feel good. Happy birthday, happy birthday. And I feel the way that every child should sit and listen, sit and listen. Went to school and I was very nervous. No one. Tell me what's my lesson Look right through me Look right through me And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying Are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take Run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. Mad world. Enlarging your world. Mad world. because it's quite a mad world we're in. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Peter's Wanderings. Thanks so much. Oh, that's so kind. Hope you're enjoying the live stream so far. I'm sorry I messed up the lyrics. I knew I was going to mess them up. Ah, I'm so sorry. This was terrible. Thanks. But Ah, oh, thanks. Merci, Ju. Merci, Magali. Trop gentil, les amis. <laughs> I love this song so much. So... Mm. It's so well written, and it's really like musically so simple, yet so yeah, uh, full of emotions and evocation. So I love it. But merci, thank you guys for being so kind with your words. I'm so moved. That means a lot. Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I wanted to take. Apparemment, c'est dans Denis Darko. Oui, c'est ce que je disais euh, juste avant. C'était dans Denis Darko. C'est là où on l'a. Je sais pas, tu te souviens pas euh, Denis Darko quand il est sorti Je me rappelle que tout le monde était dingue de cette chanson à ce moment-là. Tout le monde était là. Bah. Mais je crois que c'est déjà une reprise d'une autre chanson. Enfin, d'une. C'est déjà une reprise de Mad World, <rire> d'une autre chanson. Cette chanson est une reprise d'une autre chanson, d'accord. Ok. <rire> je crois qu'après ce live stream, je vais aller me coucher. <rire> C'est une reprise, mais c'est pas la même chanson. Je n'ai pas remarqué pour les lyrics. Ah bah c'est gentil. <rire> Merci. Je me suis pas arrêté, au moins je me suis pas arrêté de chanter comme dans. C'est dans quoi que je me suis arrêté de chanter Dans Bad Guy, je crois que j'ai arrêté de chanter à un moment donné. Ou dans Wicked Game. Anyways. <rire> so we have three more songs to play, but before we move on. Non, je me demandais si là, c'était pas déjà une reprise euh, cette chanson, je crois. Mais il faut à vérifier. On regardera. 
Uh, Qu'est-ce que je disais Yeah, I was going to make an announcement. This is something that I haven't uh, really communicated about. But there's going to be a brand new music video coming out on the 25th on Ju of June uh, because uh, I wanted to celebrate Pride Month and uh, 25th of June is Pride Day in uh, uh, Paris. And it's also the uh, release of the first episode of Drag Race France. So being a huge fan of Drag Race, I wanted to celebrate that and uh, I released my new music video, which is called Pendulum. And it's uh, I'm so excited about it because uh, it's quite something different from what I've done before regarding music videos. And also uh, I've learned a lot over the two weeks that I've worked on this music video as, uh, uh, yeah. I've learned so many things, so many new, s new tools, and I'm really excited to uh, use those tools again for new music videos, other projects. Uh, I can tell you about it by the tool that I'm using. It's uh, Unreal Engine 5, so I'm also going to use it for my live streams at some point. I'm still working on that, but that's a freaking amazing tools tool. So guys, don't hesitate to use it, download it, it's free. I would recommend anyone who's into creating crazy visuals or uh, otherworldly experience to uh, learn it, because there's a lot to do with it. So yeah, so a new music video, there's the single will come out a bit later, because I want to release it on the radios first, especially in New Caledonia. And uh, so you won't find the single anywhere on the streaming platforms yet. But the 25th of June, check out my YouTube channel, New Music Video Pendulum, and check out my socials for any other announcement. If you want to subscribe, that would help me greatly uh, in our crazy world, which I love. But uh, in this crazy time, us artists really also depend on those numbers on our social media, social um, uh social platforms, social medias. So uh, we, yeah, if you want to support, uh, I don't, uh, I won't like ask for you to buy some merchandising or anything, but just, yeah, if you want to subscribe to my Instagram, uh, TikTok or uh, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok would be the best for me. That, that's the one I use the most, but anything you like or you feel comfortable. And yeah, please don't hesitate to share if you like the music. And uh, if you want to send me a message and uh, share some thoughts, don't hesitate. I'm really uh, open to communicating. As you can see, if you talk to me on the, w on the chat, I will talk to you. <laughs> so... Um, the next song that I'm going to play is my latest single. It's called Remora, and there's also a music video for that. And it's about a remora is a kind of fish that we have in New Caledonia in the South Pacific and probably, uh, I guess, pretty much anywhere in the world. And it it's this long fish that has this round sucker-like organ on the top of its uh, head. And it would stick to bigger fishes, bigger fish like sharks or whales or, or shark whales. No, whale sharks, sorry. And um, in New Caledonia, we say of somebody, we say somebody's a remora if they are a bit clingy or they're on your back all the time. And I wanted to write a song using that kind of image to uh, talk about all the bad habits or all the luggage, emotional luggage traumas that we have. And once again, just like I was saying earlier, not let them define us and not let them get in our way when we're trying to, you know, get closer to who we truly are on an, as an individual. So there we go. This is Remora. There's a music video for it. It's available also on all the streaming platforms. So please don't hesitate to go and listen to it and subscribe <laughs> on uh, Spotify, that, Spotify. That will help as well. <laughs> there we go. So Remora. Just running through my veins, burning inside Knowing, poking, eating at my brain, driving me mad And then you tell me what you want, and then you tell me you don't Then you run me down And when I try, it never sits, and when I fly, you quit I just wanna split you see, I came around to let it show I saw the blueprint 
This was more raw. <rire> Merci Magali, trop cool. Ah, vous êtes trop gentil de rester, c'est trop cool. Trop chouette d'être avec vous, de vous avoir dans le public. <rire> Et euh, 949 autres personnes, wow. <rire> hey guys, uh, is everybody okay? If you uh, need, uh, don't forget to drink by the way. Especially if you're in a warm uh, place, uh, if you're in a heat wave place like Paris or France, you need to hydrate yourself. So drink water. It's important. Il est comment le temps d'ailleurs euh, dans le cortège? Vous êtes euh, vous êtes bien? Il fait beau? Il fait pas trop chaud? Moi j'ai chaud. While they're uh, waiting for their answer. Oh, il fait chaud. Ah ouais. <rire> Pareil aussi, il fait très chaud. Euh, J'en peux plus. Et dans mon studio là fermé, je, avec les lumières, j'ai très très chaud, j'avoue. <rire> plus que deux, deux chansons et après j'irai me prendre une douche froide. <rire> so hot in the studio. Uh, so I have a couple of songs left, a uh, cover and then one last uh, original song. And then I will uh, see you next week for the next live stream. Oui, fin de, fin de journée, c'est mieux, carrément. Carrément, carrément. Et nous, dans la maison, il fait quand même moins chaud que dehors. Dieu merci. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the next song is a song called... Uh, uh, it's a song that I love. 
and it's very dear to my heart. And so it's a song called Danny Boy. It's an it's a folk Irish folk song. I think it's Irish or English. It's from Great the UK. <laughs> and uh, no, well oh okay, Ireland is not part of the UK, sorry. But uh I think it's Irish. But I've learned actually it in Ireland because I spent uh, two years in Ireland when I was uh, still studying. That's where I did all my music production and my singing lessons. And uh, I was with uh, the amazing Frank Merriman uh, as a singing teacher with of the uh, Belcanto Song School of Singing. And uh, he's uh, the other teacher who's also one of his students, um, <coughs> Edwin Williamson, who they both like taught me so much and gave me so many so much tool and yeah and it was beyond like just the singing like it, they really supported me in what i was doing and you know being like literally at the other end of the earth uh, re uh relating uh in relation to my home which was new caledonia at the time i was still like very living there uh as i was like still feeling this was my home um living in ireland yeah ireland Ju knows ireland he was there as well dublin <laughs> ah oui, vous serez chez nous pour la prochaine vague de chaleur. Ah ouf <rire> C'est vrai. <rire> On va aller à la piscine. <rire> so, uh, yeah, I was in Ireland and, uh, and yeah, this song, Danny Boy, is one of the songs that I learned when I was there and I loved singing this song so much. I think it's so beautiful. And I wanted to sing it for you. This arrangement is uh, done. Uh, I oh, I forgot. I'll write it down in the description of the video. And uh, if anybody get offended by the fact that I forgot the names, please let me be sorry right now. I'm really please forgive me. I'm really sorry, and I apologize uh, greatly for that. But I will write everything at the bottom of the video at, in the link in the description on YouTube so you can find them and I will link to the uh, other YouTube videos where you can find those uh, song arrangements so <coughs> yeah it's Danny boy and I wanted to sing it for you and this uh, song arrangement is really beautiful I hadn't it's so different to the way we used to sing it but uh, yeah it's really nice so let's go Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountain side. The summer's gone and all the roses falling. Tis you.
This was Danny Boy. I love this song so much. And I have one last song for you guys. Um, I want to thank you all for being here. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for the 997 people who've been here. Merci Julien et Mac d'avoir été là tout le long du stream. Finesse, vous êtes trop gentils, c'est trop cool. Trop cool de vous avoir ici. Ça apporte de la chaleur, de la bonne humeur et des énergies trop positives. Oh, merci. Merci, Magali. Ouais, c'est une trop belle chanson. Euh, je ne sais pas si vous avez compris ce que je disais, mais en fait, c'est une chanson que j'ai appris quand j'étais en Irlande avec mon prof de chant. Et je crois que c'est une chanson traditionnelle irlandaise, je ne suis pas sûr. Euh, et ouais, je me rappelle que j'aimais trop la chanter. Quoi. Ça me faisait... La mélodie, elle est trop, trop belle. Puis les émotions elles sont trop belles dedans. C'est trop beau. <rire> ah, merci. Et bah du coup, cette dernière chanson, elle est pour vous. Elle est pour vous deux. <rire> Et elle est pour, euh, elle est pour vous deux d'abord parce que vous avez trop euh, communiqué avec nous. And uh, yeah, the next song is for like you guys listening. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, leaving the cute comments that you've left and. Uh, Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you again here. I will be back next week, Thursday. And I think, ooh, I'll, may, I'll keep you posted. Check my socials, because I think I have a lot of stuff to do next week. I'm going to see Björk on Tuesday. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, we have work to do with my friends, uh, Julien and Magali. So I think we, I need to check out the schedule first. But check out my socials. I will post on my um, Instagram stories. I will obviously post a post uh, regarding that live stream. But until then, I'm really... Oh, merci, Magali. Trop gentil. I'm really lo looking forward to seeing you again, to being with you guys. And uh, until then, please be safe, take care of, yours, of yourself. And this last song is called Your Love. And it's about celebrating any type of love, whether it's love for your cat, love for your parents, love for your brothers, love for your loved one, I mean, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your, uh, pers your special person, anybody, love for your work, love for your art, and love for life in general. So yeah, this is for you guys. And uh, I will see you. Oui, les amis, on se tient au courant uh, behind the scenes <laughs> sur le quand, le quand, quoi, comment. And everyone, thanks again for being here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> This time I feel seen so bright In your eyes I cry With understanding I never ran to laughs Your words Soft as your skin Your world Is full of stars and we fly Way above the ground will always come around But you give me something I never knew And you keep me from swimming in the blue When I'm with you I see the light And when I kiss you I'm alive When you hold me I cannot worry What a place to have your love Your love, love Your love, your love 